If you guys thought I was excited for the Starbucks fall menu to drop, nothing compares to this debut. Chamberlain Coffee just dropped their matcha. I have been waiting for this ever since Emma started Chamberlain Coffee. I was hoping and praying that she would make matcha and now here she is. This just got delivered last night and I was going to try it then but I was out of milk and I want to make it with my matcha latte recipe but also Emma's recipe so I got those this morning. Now we're all ready to have some matcha. If you're new here we are coffee lovers on this channel but I I wouldn't say it's my number one. Matcha is my number one and it has been I guess like two to three years now. I still love a good coffee, a good latte always, but matcha, it's just my thing. It's just everything to me. So this is so exciting. Let's open one up. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful brand new tin of matcha. It's a standard matcha tin, it's 1.5 ounces, and this was actually $20, which is an amazing price. Matcha can get pretty expensive. Some of my favorites are like $40, $50, so if I can get a great quality, amazing tasting matcha for 20 bucks, I'm all in. And I love how they kept it super sleek with the packaging. They had the little directions on the back. It says the ingredients are organic Japanese matcha powder, stone ground from premium Japanese tencha leaves, and it's certified organic by OCA Japan. Let's do a smell test. It's not too fragrant, but once we add the water, we could get a better smell. I will say if we were to compare it to another matcha, let's use this one. It is a lot lighter than the typical matches I use at home. I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison to look at the color, but again, it's $20, so you're not paying for the highest of highest qualities. If they were to come out with the $40 one, most likely it'll be more vibrant in color, but this is a standard, still very good matcha. Look at me being all technical, like a real review channel. I'm going through all the steps because I've been waiting for this moment. I start out with a bowl, my sister, I get one teaspoon of matcha, and then we are going to sift that out so there aren't any clumps in it. It's very smooth. Add about two tablespoons of water. I don't really measure this out, but just kind of eyeball it. You can always add more. And then whisk in M motions until foamy. I always use oat milk in my lattes, especially with matcha. I'm gonna use some vanilla syrup, just a little bit. Mix this up a little bit more and Ooh, baby, baby, baby. That is a cutie matcha. It looks darker in person. Oh my God. Emma, <gasps> Emma, wow. I feel like the people that are just starting out with matcha, the $40, $50 ones, like the really higher quality that like really pack a punch might be too much for people that are just starting out with it and just like easing their way into it. This is such a great matcha. Matcha for everyone, matcha for the whole town. I recommend it for anyone that's starting out with matcha. I mean, even someone that I've been drinking it for years now, I am gonna keep it stocked in the fridge because it's $20. I can see myself using this every day in my matcha recipe. I mean, now I don't really have an excuse to like go and get matchas because I literally have four cans here. But I'm not mad at it because this is good. Lattes at my place. And I have a lot of Chamberlain coffee too. I'm gonna do a Chamberlain pop up here. I'm gonna do a Chamberlain coffee pop-up at my apartment. So, if you guys wanna come. But I'm charging you, just so you know. It's definitely lighter than my typical matches, and that's just because, as we saw, the color isn't as vibrant, so it's expected, but still very good. Since we tried it in my recipe, now we need to try Emma's recipe, which I'm a little nervous for, because it's very different than the typical matcha lattes that I drink. But she says it's good. Since it's her matcha, I think it's just right to do her recipe. So let's try it. We'll try it out, but I'm nervy. I'm pouring it into this glass because I want to make it in here. We need a stand brand, but these are from Crate and Barrel. They're so cute. So if two teaspoons of matcha into a cup, add one to two tablespoons of hot water, whisk together, then add a mixture of one cup of water, stir, ice, 
pour matcha and add favorite dairy-free creamer. Okay, so you should use this two teaspoons of matcha. Add a cup of water and stir. Pour in the matcha. Okay, let's see if we can do this without spilling. Okay, nope, we got some spillage. In her video, she used the caramel nut pods. I haven't tried this little caramel matcha situation, but she said it's good. Is that enough? Is that good? That looks pretty good. All right, Emma's version. I'm nervy. It needs something. I think we need to work on this, M. Let's do, I just like vanilla with matcha. So maybe if I got the French vanilla nut pods and that would have been a little bit better. I have tried that before actually, but I didn't make it with like, you know, the water and stuff. So let's add a little bit of syrup, Emma. Are we okay with that? Ooh, that's better. That's better. I just think I'm a vanilla girl. Caramel's just kind of weird to me. Ooh, better. It's very very light i mean obviously it's like mostly matcha and water i'm a fan of that i am i do think <laughs> sorry me just tweaking emma's recipe let's add some cinnamon i think that the i think that with the caramel this could be a good thing does emma like cinnamon is she a cinnamon gal we need to add cinnamon to our matchas now especially since it's gonna be fall that just needs to be a thing I'm a fan of this, but it's dangerous. Because it's so light and refreshing, I feel like I would crave this like five times a day. Because you know my normal matcha is like, it's mostly milk. It's not as refreshing, obviously. This is something. I've had a lot of matcha today, oh my God. Um, I do think it's better with the a little bit of vanilla syrup. Even if we added, I use vanilla, but you can add agave or honey. That would also be a great added sweetness to it. I just think with this like caramel flavoring, I think it needs a little bit, a little bit of sugar. First sip, I had my doubts, obviously. But with the little tweaks, I'm here for it. And I, I could see myself making that a lot. I approve Chamberlain coffee matcha. I approve. I'm here for it, Miss Chamberlain. Miss Chamberlain. Miss Chamberlain, you're doing it. I guess that's it. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys and whoa. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I hope that more people try out matcha because it is literally one of my favorite things ever. It has so many benefits. It doesn't make you jittery. It actually helps my anxiety, which is amazing. And it tastes delicious. And it's just become a part of like my everyday routine, my kind of like self-care things that I do, going and getting myself a matcha or making myself a matcha. I just love it and I hope that more people start drinking it and see how amazing it is. So let me know down below if you guys are going to buy the matcha and try it. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys on Wednesday for a new video.